A Columbus man is in jail tonight after police say he assaulted a Coda bus driver. Thank you for joining us for NBC 4 at 11. I'm Audrey Hassan. 34 year old Royce Nall and do is due in court this week. According to court documents, he repeatedly punched a Coda driver on Friday morning. NBC 4's Eric Halperin is on the south side tonight where this happened. And Eric, the bus driver is well known in that neighborhood. Audrey, one of the neighbors tells me the driver has been on this route for several years, always smiling when she saw him. His bus was at this intersection here, Thimbleberry Road and Allen Creek Drive around 9 o'clock Friday morning when police say this happened. And now neighbors here are hoping for a quick recovery. The Coda bus stop at Allen Creek Drive and Thimbleberry Road and the neighborhood around it are missing a familiar face after what Coda's CEO calls a vicious assault of one of its drivers. It's just heartbreaking that it happened to him. Anna Young lives in the area. She says whenever she's seen the driver, he's been smiling. One of the residents said she would go up there on Fridays with her kids waiting for their dad and that the driver would always give her kids candy and was just really nice. But last Friday was different. The bus was stopped at the intersection around 9 in the morning. According to police, a Coda dispatcher noticed the bus had not moved for a while, so they called for someone to check on it. Police say the 68-year-old driver was found with serious injuries to his face. It's heartbreaking it happens to anybody, but somebody who's 68 years old, that's just wrong. On Friday, Columbus police shared these pictures of the suspect on the bus. He was identified shortly after and has been arrested. Court documents show he is 34-year-old Royce Nall and say he repeatedly punched the driver in the face, head, and body while taking his wallet and demanding money. Neighbors want justice and are looking forward to seeing the familiar driver's face again. Well, I'm just praying he gets well fast and back on the job. And Nall is scheduled to be in court on Tuesday morning. Coda sent a statement thanking police and also saying that their priority and focus remains on their valued team members' health and recovery. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.